Hey, what's going on everybody? Jared here, and today we're going to be working on how to use Game Center. Now we start off actually with creating our simple application that's going to add some score and then another button that's going to call Game Center. Now of course this is going to be implemented into your own application, so take my first part of this tutorial as basically your score and your Game Center button. But either way we're going to learn how to authenticate our player, make our player log in if he's not authenticated, and then save our high score in a leaderboard in Game Center and be able to to present that view over to our application. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we're going to do is open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project. This will be a single view application, although this really applies to a game or anything really. So go ahead, click next. Our product name, you can really call this whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Game Center. Language will be Swift, devices will be universal. Go ahead, click next and create. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, make this a bit bigger. So we're gonna go right into our main.storyboard right here. Let's go ahead, click and drag a button on onto our scene like so. This button, let's go over to our attributes inspector. I'm just going to change the title of this just to say add score, hit enter, and then we can make this a little bit bigger to fit the text. And then I'm gonna quickly add some constraints. So right click or control click and drag. We're going to drag that over to our view right here. We're just going to say center horizontally, center vertically. Key press enter like so, and then we can go over here, we can click from our add score to the add score button, and then we're just going to keep the width and also the height. Now next thing we need from this is I'm going to click and drag another button on here, and this will call our game center. So I'm gonna go ahead, put game center, hit enter, and then we're going to take this, drag it out like so, and then just add some constraints to this. So I'm going to give it some vertical spacing between that and the add score. And also I'm just going to say center horizontally in the container, and then we'll keep the width and the height. So there you have it, we have two buttons. So with this button right here, we want it so as soon as it's pressed, it adds some score. Now we want to actually see this score, so you can do this via a print, but I'm going to add a label just to show how it would be done. So go ahead, add a label, and I'm going to add some constraints onto this label as well. So I'm going to say up here, go vertical spacing to top layout guide, and then I'm also going to just keep the height and width like so. And then we can also just keep some vertical spacing between that and the high score. And then we lastly just need to center it horizontally inside of the container. So that should do it for our label, our ad score, and our game center. Now we're going to go over here, we're going to open up our assistant editor, and I'm just going to right click or control click and drag from the label over to our view controller and just give it some names or some outlets. So right here I'm just going to call this my label, hit connect. And then over here with our ad score, we don't really need to name these, but you can if you want to. Uh, with this I'm just going to add an action, so I'm going to go over here and this will be my ad score action. And then also I just need to add a, another action to our game center, which will actually call game center itself. So I'm just going to call this call GC. Now let's go ahead, close our assistant editor, and we can head right into our viewcontroller.swift. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting. So the first thing we need to do is go right up here, and we're going to say import game kit. Now of course I'm importing this because it has Game Center stored inside of it and we can use the components of Game Center. So now we can go over here and I'm going to go over to the class and we're going to just type in GK Game Center Controller Delegate, like so. So we're basically saying to this view controller that we'll delegate anything that goes on with Game Center. So we can continue on, it's going to give us this error because it needs a few more variables, but we can worry about that later. So the first thing that we need to do is authenticate whether a player is actually signed in. So we're going to go over here and we're going to create a new function that will authenticate our player. So I'm just going to call auth player and then we can continue on and like so. Now inside of here we want to create a player and we're going to test some variables that go along with that player. So I'm going to say let our local player equal gk local player dot local player. So this will be the local player that's inside of GameKit. Now with this local player that we just created, we want to test whether they're actually signed in or not. So we just need to say local player dot authentication handler will be equal to, then we just say open bracket, close bracket, and inside of this we're going to say open parentheses, close parentheses, so now the first thing we want to do in here is test whether or not uh, the person is signed in or not. So as you can see when you like load up applications, it shows you the Game Center screen and to log in, or it just shows you a little drop down that says welcome. So in this we can say local player dot authenticate handler will be equal to, and then we could just say open bracket, 
close bracket, and inside of this it's waiting for a view controller and also an error handler. So in this, where I'm just going to say view and then error. So these are just the names of the view controller right here and the error that I'm creating. And then after this, it's waiting for an in, so just put that. So now anything after this, we can just say if our view is not equal to nil, meaning that there is a view, then we can say self.present view controller and we're going to present the view controller of our view that we just created animated will be equal to true unless you have a different kind of fashion and then completion will be equal to nil we don't want a completion handler now it's suspecting of an exclamation mark so just put that in now after this we want to say okay they're already signed in so what do we want to do here so in this case we can say uh, we're just going to send something to our console. So I'm just going to say print gk local player dot local player dot authenticated, like so. So that means we're authenticated, we're good to go. Now, when do we want this to happen? Well, we want to authenticate the player. Well, you can really do this whenever you want, when they press the game center thing. But I'm going to put it so as soon as the view loads, we uh, authenticate our player. So I'm just going to type in auth player, and it's going to call that function every time the view loads. Now, that's fine and all. We actually created a player. Now he's signed in. Now we're going to add some scoring. So let's go right up here to our score. We're going to say var score will be equal to an integer, like so. And then down here in the, whoops, I put SDD score, it's add score, and then we can just say score plus plus. So it's going to add one to the score every time this function is called or that button is pressed. So now we added a score and that was very easy. So now we actually want to save that score into Game Center and compare it with our uh, previous score. So I'm just gonna create another function saying func save high score open parentheses, and in this case, inside of the parentheses, we want an integer to be saved. That might not always be that one score that you saved, so it's important that you just type in here, this will be our number. I don't want to put score again, just to com not confuse things up. So this will be our number that we're going to save, and then we're going to say integer, like so. So now if we were to call this function, it's expecting some integer to go along with it. Now let's just add open, close, curly brackets, like so. And then down here, we want to just test whether our local player is authenticated again. So we're just going to say if our gk local player dot local player <laughs> is dot authenticated, then we want to do this other stuff. So good, our player is logged in. Now let's actually go over to iTunes Connect and actually start doing the back end of this. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to iTunes Connect dot Apple dot com. I'm going to log in. And from here, we can go over to my apps. Now inside of here, we can go ahead, click the plus button. I'm going to click new application. Go over to here, our platform is of course iOS. Name of this, you can type in whatever you want. Choose language, I'm going to choose English. <laughs> bundle identifier, you can set this to your bundle app identifier, or you can set it to a wild card like I'm going to do. And I'm just going to take the bundle ID that's inside of here, go right over here, go over to your bundle identifier. And this is my bundle identifier, architect.gamecenter. So I'm going to take that and just paste that right inside. And then we can go over here and just go to the SKU number. And really you can type in whatever you want. It's just a version number per se. So go ahead, click create. And voila, we have created an application. Now inside of here, we can go over to features, go over to game center. And right over here, we can create a leaderboard. So I'm going to click the plus button right here. I'm going to say choose the single leaderboard, create a single leaderboard. Our leaderboard reference name, you could of course read about what all of these mean right over here. Uh, so our leaderboard reference name can be whatever. Our leaderboard ID, I kind of want this to be a little bit easy to type in, so I'm just going to type in this. <laughs> I don't know. Our score format type, I'm going to just make mine an integer. Score submission type will of course be our best score. Score submission score, you can make this your best score or your most recent score to compare with other people. Our sort order, I'm just going to make mine high to low. And this is optional, I'm not going to do it. You can of course do what it, whatever you want. And then we can just add languages. So I'm going to say add language. Our language will be equal to English. The name of this is actually the name that's displayed on your leaderboard. So I'm going to just type in testing. Our score and format, uh, this will basically be choosing between commas or dots between your numbers. I'm going to click commas. Your score format suffix will be like points, coins, whatever you uh, count in. I'm just going to go ahead and say point. And then down here, our score format suffix in its plural form will be equal to points. So again, 
again, point, points, and then image, you can add an image if you want, but I'm not, so I'm going to say save. And then after this is all done, we have just created a leaderboard, so go ahead, click save. And voila, we now have a leaderboard set up. So now we can go over here to our leaderboard ID. We can copy that. And let's actually head back over to our application, go over to the capabilities. And we're gonna go right down here to the game center capability and we'll turn this on. Now with this, of course you need a developer account. So I've already set that up. And of course it's Jared Davidson. So I'm gonna click choose. And then this will say adding the game center entitlement to your app ID. And if you get all check marks, you're good to go. And if you didn't get check marks or anything, be sure to go back to your application and make sure that your bundle identifier is the same as what you have inside of your application. And that also you have your app ID set up properly. So we have the green, so let's go ahead, go over to our viewcontroller.swift. And now down here inside of our save high score, this is where we can save our higher score to that leaderboard that we created. So we need to report this to our leaderboard. So I'm going to say let our score reporter equal GK score open parentheses, and then this will be a leaderboard identifier, and you can choose other things, like if I went back, you can choose other things, leaderboard identifier for the player or the player name, and then I'm just going to choose the leaderboard identifier. Now go ahead, tab that all in. And again, our leaderboard identifier is equal to this, as you can see. So I'm gonna put that right in there like so. And now with the score reporter, we need to actually add a value to it. So I'm gonna say score, reporter dot value will be equal to and this will be int 64 as it is expecting an int 64 value and then we need to just type in our number so this is essentially the same variable that you have right up here now go ahead close that off then also with this we need to say a score array so i'm going to say let score array and then colon and this will be equal to an array of gk scores make sure that is capitalized. And then we make this equal to an array of our score reporters. So now what the score array does, it takes every score reporter and everything and it puts it in an array. And then we upload this array over to the leaderboard and we check which one's higher and whatnot. So we can go over here and we can say GK score dot report scores and we're going to report the scores that we created. So this will be our score array. And then with completion handler, you don't need one. This is basically saying if there's an error, then we can see that there's an error. So you would want to print something. I'm not going to put a completion handler in there. So I'm just going to type in nil. So now we can save our high score. Now, when you want to save your high score is up to you. I want my high score to be saved as soon as I call my game center. So I'm going to say save high score and our number will be equal to our score that we have right here. So now we have authenticated our player, we have submitted our score up to the cloud or game center, and then now we just need to show the leaderboard. So I'm gonna go right down here and I'm gonna say func show leaderboard. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket. So the first part of this, we need to create a view controller. So I'm gonna say let our view controller equal self.view.window dot root view controller and then we also need to create out of this and then out of this we need to create our game center view controller so we're going to say let our gcvc equal our gk game center view controller like so and then open close parentheses now after this we need to say gcvc dot game center delegate will be equal to self so that means we're taking the game center view controller and we're setting the delegate equal to that of our own window so that it's controlling uh, what's going on on the game center view controller. So now we can go down here and we can say our view controller dot present view controller and we're going to present the view controller that we created so this will be our gcvc and then our animated will be set to true and completion i'm just going to set this equal to nil now i do want to go over something here so inside of here inside of this function right here we created a view controller at the start of this now this is not necessarily needed to be done but especially if you're doing this with games in games we work with gk scenes so what you want to do here is create your own view controller and we're going to load that up onto uh, the view controller of our game. So that's not meaning that you don't have a view controller that you could load it up to in games, but this just makes it a lot easier to load it up inside of a game if you're using sprite kit or scene kit. Just wanted to go over that real quick. And also I just realized that we're not doing anything with our label that we created. So I'm gonna go right down here to our ad score and we're going to say label.text will be equal to, and I'm just gonna set this equal to our score. 
Now, as you can see, we're still getting an error up here that says our view controller does not conform to the protocol of GK Game Center view controller delegate. This really has nothing to do with conforming. Let's actually go down here and we're going to say game center view controller did finish loading. And then inside of here, we're going to get, take this view controller that's created up here in our function. And we're going to say game center view controller dot dismiss view controller animated. And then this will be equal to true unless you want it to be equal to false. And then completion, I'm gonna set this equal to nil. Now let's go ahead, build and run this. And as you can see, there's no more error. All right, so our application is loaded, and as you can see, our welcome back Architap 3 is loaded, and then we can say add score. So we're going to add some score, and then we can call Game Center and see our leaderboard. So now we can see in here, testing number one overall, I have 14 points. And now if we go back to our product, we can go add score again, call Game Center again, and that's going to save my 24 points, as you can see. That is my high score. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Right now I'm creating a Udemy course that actually teaches how to use SceneKit and SpriteKit. So if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to know exactly about SceneKit or SpriteKit, be sure to leave that down in the comment section down below. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. The app of the day will be equal to, wait. <laughs> The app of the day will be Storily. It's basically a place where people share their stories online and you can upvote them and check them out. And they all are categorized into their own categories and it's very cool. So be sure to go check it out. But anyway, I will see you in the next one.